Hey everyone, Izzle Shizzle here. Today I'm going to give a quick explanation of how I created the sound effect for the click of a vending machine button. Here's the sound effect now. Surprisingly, there aren't many sound effects specifically for vending machine buttons, so the first step I needed to take was to record the different elements of the sound effect that I needed. When trying to emulate the sound of a button click, you have to break it apart by a button's anatomy, and I'll explain the anatomy along the way, so let's get into it. For the button effect I was envisioning, I know I wanted a high-pitched beep, so the first thing I did was use one of GarageBand's synthesizer pianos, pitch it up a few octaves, and ended up choosing this beep out of all the variations I had recorded. Now that I have my beep, I need the sound of the button being pushed. Many and pretty much all buttons have springs, so what I did was record the sound of an empty spray bottle handle being pulled. This was a bit difficult, as the volume of the handle being pulled itself was low, but after a few takes and increasing the gain on my microphone, I managed to get this squeeze take. So, I have my beep, and I have my squeeze, now I just need the click to tie them together. For example, the click of a pen. Now that I have all three, it's time for step two, mixing! With a bit of magic of blending and pitch, I had the final result for my vending machine. Sounds subtle, but if I didn't include the squeeze or the click with the beep, you wouldn't believe someone pressed against a button in order for that beep to be received. And there you go! If you want more videos like these to explore the creation of sound effects, like this video and comment below. This is Izzle Shizzle, and I will see you all next time. Bye!